Welcome back CrossFit Inconceivable crew. Coach Amelia here with the cool down for around the back. You can see the clock is red behind me. So we finished our 12 minute AMRAP of a lot of core exercises. And we're gonna do some cool down and stretching to help balance that out. So you wanna join me. We're gonna scoot back and get onto our backs and get some gentle spinal twists. So we have our arms out at a T. We're gonna bring the left leg to straight, bring the right arm up and over the body. Trying to keep that opposite shoulder anchored. You can bring your hand to your leg and get a little extra leg stretch out of it. Or you can keep the arms in a T. To work on gazing over that opposite shoulder, opposite the leg that's extended out. And just embrace some relaxation stretching across the spine. Good. And then gently bring that leg back to midline. Straighten it out and we'll do the opposite side. So we're gonna lift the opposite leg and then rotate over the body. We're gonna keep that shoulder up. You can see I have some tight pecs here, so my shoulder wants to come up. So I'm thinking about driving that shoulder down. I can hold on to my leg with the opposite arm. So you have to start to just breathe, breathe and rotate. Good. And then we'll relax back out of that and come back to the midline. We're going to give ourselves a little hug. We did a lot of ab work here. And so we're going to first kind of squeeze everything up real nice and tight. Good. And extend one leg long and really hug that knee toward the shoulder. Going to release and squeeze just the other leg up. Good, and release. We're gonna come to a sit and get ourselves into a straddle position. What we're gonna do is take one arm to the opposite thigh, and we're gonna hold on there, and then we're gonna take the opposite arm over toward the toe. So I'm kind of making this yin and yang with my hands. I'm using this as leverage, kind of pull me down, and I'm reaching for my toe, but also really focusing on open up the side of my body here. Good, and then we'll come back to a sit, and we'll switch. Other hand comes to the inner thigh, opposite arm comes up and over, reaching for the toe, engaging through the inner thigh, and through the side of the body of the upper arm. Good, and then we'll come back and sit tall. Let's bring our legs together and get a hamstring stretch here. And so we wanna think about sitting really nice and tall through the chest, Hinging forward and kind of walking our way along, using as much leverage from the hands as we need to. When you feel like you've gotten as much as you can with keeping your back straight and your chest tall and proud, then you can let yourself kind of hinge forward and fold over. Just stretch into the hamstrings there. And that back of the legs, do all those glute bridge raises. Good. Walk ourselves back up <clears throat> to sit. We're going to put ourselves into a pigeon pose. If you come onto all fours and if you press back up and if you're sending your hip side into a down dog and then bring that right leg forward and through into a bit of a figure four. I'm a little too close to the camera here. Too close. And there we go. And so you can bring that foot as far up as you're able. What you really want to do is feel a stretch into the glutes. Let that back foot lay flat. Keep that long leg in the plane with the hip. And if here's good, that's where you stay. If you would like to come to elbows and that feels like more engagement, <clears throat> go ahead and hang out there. If you want to walk the hands forward in the head towards the floor, any of those are good options. If you need to sit on something, if you feel you need some support, that's okay. And again, if it's just staying here, getting a little bit out of it, that's fine too. And from here, we're going to walk our hands over to the side and get a little bit of a side stretch out of it as well. And only lean as far as you're able to. If it's too stressful on the knee, come back to that midline. But if you're able to just get a little bit of rotation out to the side. Good. And I'm going to press ourselves up and back. Maybe shake that leg out. And then bring the left leg 
through and into a figure four and find that spot that works best for you. So maybe it's up here on hands, maybe it's at that midpoint on the elbows, maybe it's reaching out long, letting your forehead rest on the floor. And it's okay to try one and then come back a little bit out of that stretch. Good, and they're gonna walk the hands out the opposite way. Really think about opening through the side of the ribs, sending the hips back and stretching. And let's take a moment and just get a little bit of a <clears throat> back bend or cobra position. So put your hands under your shoulders and you can lift up as much with the hands as you like. So it might just be to here, you might lift a little bit more, feeling a stretch to the front of the abdomen and some of those core exercises. Good. And last, just get one child's pose, setting the hips back, walking the arms out long, taking some breath here. And gently come back up. All right, so we made it through the around the back workout. You got through the explanation, the mobility and the shoulder work, the workout itself, and the cool down. Join us again next time, and I hope you had a great workout.